What's up, everybody? It's your boy Panic Knife here with theawfulgamer.com and TGN, and today I'm going to be walking you through the Colonel Vorgath uh, boss on Story Mode Denova in Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, as you'll see, I'm actually running my sniper in this class, and this is this is the way that my guild, Monster Island Zars, does it. We send the first of all the off tank goes up there onto the top platform, and then one DPS who happens to be me in this period. Uh, goes up there with him, kills the ad, and also clicks the uh, the map while the uh, while he jumps into the probe side of it. There's a second button that lets him find these probes that you're seeing attack us right now. Um, he will jump into that right away while I click the map. First, you'll click overall all the way to the left side because the left side is the easiest path normally. If that turns up with the red one, you're gonna then start to DPS that uh, ad and then try to click the second from the right. I think I did that right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that will be the other decent path normally. So those are the two ones that you'll do. And right, while, right. after you click the first one, he's going to jump into the probe finder. He's uh, the, the off tank, is his main job is going to be to look left and right and try to find where the next uh, probe is, which will give you the diffusal kit, as you just saw. Now, you can only go on to these green spheres until, uh, actually at all, at all, you can only go on to green spheres unless you have the kit that lets you defuse the bombs on the other ones. Now, um, as you can see, basically it's the person who's at melee range who will get those. Um, everybody needs to DPS down these uh, interrogation probe type dealies because they will um, enrage, actually, <laughs> especially on hard mode, their enrage timer is really tight. but. This whole encounter will enrage, and you need to make sure that you get through the minefield without having to uh, worry about those turrets ripping you apart, because they will, you know, keep firing on random people this whole time. There now, there will be ads uh, going around, assassin droids, and uh, just some other random ad. But oh yeah, by the way, um, I almost forgot. <laughs> Don't step on the yellow one either, unless you have that kit, because that will also set off the bomb. If you set off the bomb, you're going to piss off your raid and probably wipe you. So, good times, right? But yeah, this is the way my guild does it. Monster Island Zars. This is there's no one right way to do anything in life, <laughs> and uh, definitely not in raiding. This is a pretty proven method. We get through these usually pretty easily. Um, we have everybody, like I said, DPSing these uh, these probes, and our our story mode, um, you know, strategy is a little bit different too. But the big Thing is you need to get through this minefield as soon as possible. At the end of the day, Vorgath himself is actually a pretty easy boss. You just need to make sure that you get to that point. And one of the toughest parts is just the whole fact that, you know, you have to make sure that you're getting through this timely, or, you know, in a timely fashion and all that. Also, the other deal that the off tank has to do is click the, um, he'll, he'll also click a button that, um, yeah, the, if it's red, he'll turn it yellow. Uh, so that's his other real job. He, the off tank doesn't really do a whole lot in this. It's uh, the main tank will just make sure that this uh, probe is faced away from the raid, and he'll make sure he. Uh, everybody needs to make sure they interrupt cleave as much as possible. That's his only really hard attack in story mode. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not that difficult of an encounter, especially this first part here with the interrogation droids and all that. If you have more range, just like anything, it's a little easier just because you can sit back and you know not be on those platforms close to everything. One of the things is you'll notice that we're about to do, we like to have, uh, actually I don't think we did it in this time, but we like to have a sorcerer or an inquisitor stand close to the, uh, the end. <laughs> there seemed to be another uh, thing here that's actually kind of funny. Our, uh, our off tank didn't click the button at first. But once you get to the edge of the minefield, you're going to want to hit that button, which will turn the turrets off. And uh, that's Easy actually pretty important because they do enrage. There's two different en enrage timers in this battle. The first one is for the turrets. The second one is for Vorgat. So make sure you do that. Um, now, as you get up here, there will be two ads on either side. Or uh, one ad, uh, rather, on either side of Vorgath. Make sure you take down the ads, then start DPSing the boss. He has a threat drop mechanic, and I think he has a pushback as well. And he will also drop a dot on you, which, uh, not a, a damage over time, but actually like a physical dot that will blow up. It's sort of like, um, there's a couple different bosses that have that. I think like the first boss of EV has it, uh, and KP, the fabricator droid, does it, and, uh, he does it as well. Basically, he'll put the dot on you. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage to you, although it does do some damage. 
but uh, the big damage it does is to the party around you. As you can see, I just got that, and that would have hurt my party pretty bad if I was standing in the middle while we did that. Now, I'm not actually you positioned... You guys stand by the cave entrance, you line of sight, the, or you range the, um, the turrets when they come... As you just heard my raid leader tell me, I'm not actually positioned properly right here. Uh, you want to actually sit as a ranged DPS, you want to sit towards the end, or towards the cave, so you're not in the range of the turrets, because they will wreck you, especially in hard mode. Now in story mode, you can take some of the damage from the turrets, and it's not that big of a deal, and we've actually played with taking down the turrets as they spawn. You know, it, you can take off DPS and it doesn't, uh, you're not really that much in danger of enraging on this boss. Especially if you've gotten to this point, the enrage timers on Zorn and Toth and Stormcaller Firebrand are a lot tighter than this last phase with Borgath. So, you know, just make sure that you continue to DPS hard, make sure you keep your healers up, keep an eye on, or, or rather your tanks up, keep an eye on, you know, um, the DPS that hits gets hit with the, the, the bombs and all that. But otherwise, for the healers, it's not that tough of a thing. Uh, especially if you have a lot of melee, you can just drop a circle on them. They're not going to get hit too bad. Um, the other little, you know, thing that I would tell you as an off tank, maybe stand a little bit closer to the turrets to, tr to try to draw the proximity aggro form from them. But that's pretty much it. Anyway, we are going to bring you the last four, I guess, bosses. Uh, one more on, no, I can't count, one more on story mode and two more on hard mode. Um, I'm going to bring you guides for all those, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyway, with TheAwfulGamer.com, it's your boy Panic Knife. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, give us a subscription, uh, and uh, have a great night. Damn. Yeah. GG. It's all green now, I can cross. The Way Movement. A career path in making videos. For more information, visit TGN.tv.